Why did Vice President Sarah Duterte skip the critical budget hearing? What's going on behind closed doors? Stay tuned because we're diving deep. Welcome back to the Love Train Nation. I'm Bobby D. Today, we're uncovering the mystery of Sarah Duterte's surprising no-show at the OBP budget hearing. What does this mean for the government? And how are lawmakers reacting to it? Let's break it down. On Tuesday, Vice President Sarah Duterte was notably absent during the highly anticipated budget hearing for the office of the Vice President. Lawmakers waited for over an hour with no one from her office showing up. Now, the Duterte's camp did send a letter to House Speaker Martin Ramirez stating they provided the necessary documents and already presented their position. I would like to inform the body that we are in receipt of a letter dated 10 September 2024. And um, I will read the letter. It is addressed to the speaker. Dear Speaker Amaldes, the office of the Vice President has submitted all necessary documentation to the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriations, including a detailed presentation on the proposed budget for fiscal year 2025. I have also articulated my position on the issues outlined in my opening statement during the previous hearing on 27 August 2024. We defer entirely to the discretion and judgment of the committee regarding our budget proposal for the coming year. Very truly yours, Sarah Z. Duterte. But was that enough to cool the rising tension in the room? Apparently not. Act teachers representative Franz Castro didn't hold back, calling Duterte Bratinella to the max. constituents niya na bibigyan niya nitong mga programs na ito. So ma ma Madam Chair, so uh, ang ang problema dito no, talagang Bratinella, Bratinella to the max no. Na ayo nang na matanong no. These got heated. Another representative, Ben Benito Abante, accused the Turkey of insulting the house by her absence. When we had the last hearing, I even questioned her. If this institution has the right to scrutinize the budget, and she even failed to answer. My goodness, I think that her writing a letter to us telling us that she has completed this, she still must be present, Madam Chair. And because she is not present, she is actually insulting the second institution that should scrutinize the budget of the Vice President. And I do not care even if she is the Vice President, Madam Chair. I will not allow that Congress will be insulted by the head of any agency. Now the Office of the Vice President is pushing for a 2.3 billion peso budget for 2025. But with the Turkey's absence casting shadows, who knows what's next for the Vice President and her office. Hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more longer stories. Remember, stay curious, stay informed, and let's keep riding the love train together. See you in the next video.